Hi everyone, my name is Aoni. I am from class 1G. Today I'm going to read my favorite book. The title of the book is You Can Be Healthy. Why I chose this book? Because it tells us to be healthy and active in our daily life. Violet liked to go to school. Even though she loved to learn, her favorite things in school were recess and gym because she also loved to be active. But when Ch Coach Chipper announced in gym class that they were going to run a mile the next day, Violet got a little worried. She wasn't sure if she was fit enough to run a whole mile. Violet classmates didn't seem to think it was a big deal. Most of the kids played sports and must be super fit, some she thought. Some kids played soccer, while some others played baseball or basketball. Some kids were dancers and some were tennis players. There was even one kid on the swim team. But Violet hadn't decided yet what sport she wanted to try. And now she was worried that she wasn't as fit as the other kids. Coach Chipper said it isn't going to be a race. But Violet heard some kids still talking about finishing first. Violet thought it was fine if she didn't finish first. She just want to finish. After school at home, Violet drank a nice glass of cool water and ate a healthy snack before she went outside to play. A short bike ride away, Violet joined a group of neighborhood kids who played soccer. What fun it was to run and kick the ball. She even scored a goal. When the game was over, she was pretty tired. Violet had played hard with no worries on her mind and she liked it. But back home, Violet worried about having to run a mile. Came back, she found her parents in the kitchen cooking dinner and told them all about it. She signs, I think I'm not just not fit enough. Mom said, you are just more healthier than you think. Goodness, you're always running and playing. Try not to worry. The added. All you need is just a good night sleep, a healthy breakfast, and a positive attitude. If you do the best you can, you'll be great. <laughs> Violet hoped her parents were right. She tried not to worry and made sure she went to bed on time. Falling asleep was surprising easily. Dreams that night, Violet ran a marathon and played many different sports. She also swam across the ocean, climbed the tallest mountain, and biked around the whole country. She even won an award for being the fastest person in the world. The next morning, Violet woke up feeling great about the next day to come. She ate a nourishing breakfast that gave her plenty of fuel for learning and running a mile. Then off to school she went. After the kids finished their mess, it was time for gym class. Violet was ready to give it her best. A mile didn't turn out to be as far as she thought. 
It was even a lot of fun. Violet finished with a small group of her classmates right after the fastest skate in class. She wasn't nearly as tired as she thought she would be. Everyone was proud of themselves and each other for finishing the mile. Later that day, Violet proudly announced to her parents how well she ran the mile. Mom and Dad gave her a big hug and said, You are a healthiest and fit kid. Thank you and hope you enjoyed reading the book with me. Bye-bye.